Hi, my name is Patrick Anderson. I'm a technology specialist with uh, the Microsoft CRM team. And what I want to talk to you about today is uh, using the partner portal with CRM 2011 and Windows Azure. Uh, I've downloaded the partner portal as a free uh, managed solution from the CRM Dynamics Marketplace. And uh, I've set that up with uh, CRM 2011 um, organization and uh, Windows Azure. So getting started, you can download the solution from the marketplace, as I mentioned. Here's a, a URL to do so. Um, there's install docs there, so be sure that you look for those and read those uh, before you do anything. And if you're going to set it up, uh, on premise, you'll need a web server, and there's documents for that. If you're going to set it up on Windows Azure, like I've done here, um, you're going to need to set up a, a Windows Azure account, and uh, you'll also need some a couple tools like Visual Studio, um, uh, IIS, or you can use the uh, web platform. Um, you'll need the Visual Studio t tools for Azure and you'll need the CRM uh, 2011 SDK. Um, of course, you'll need a, a CRM organization and a Windows Live ID uh, that you'll set up as a uh, web service account that talks to, uh, allows that your CRM organization to talk to the portal running on Windows Azure or on-premise, depending on how you deploy it. Uh, best help resources that I found here were um, the install docs and the solution. Um, there's also a um, help link on the solution page uh, that takes you to the forums, and um, and those are really kind of the best place to look. Let's take a look at the CRM org here after I've got the portal installed. You'll notice we have a new section called Content Management. And within that, there's actually all of the website data that the customer portal is going to hold. This came in with the solution, so all of the websites, pages, templates, um, security roles. Then within uh, sales components, you see, you'll see a couple new entities here created. We've got web literature, registered products, and again here under service. So those are going to be some of the things that the portal leverages. This is looking at the partner portal itself, in this case hosted on Windows Azure. Go ahead and sign in. Okay, now signed into the partner portal. And let's walk through some of the functionality that we have here. So, partner portal is designed for partners to come in and have access to the CRM data, uh, and also potentially uh, the partners' accounts that they work with and their customers can potentially log in here. Um, of course, you can change the text that's on these screens, uh, just some some generic text, but um, we'll look at pipeline here. Manage the sales pipeline. Here I see opportunities as a partner that I'm working on. I can edit these, add an attachment, update these, etc.
sort of new opportunity from here. And I, th I can also see uh, if there's opportunities that are available to bid on for partners. That's in the opportunity pool. Here's a new one. Let's take a look at that. New opportunity here. I'll bid for this opportunity. And this shows me a bid's been registered for my company. This is where I can manage my accounts uh, as a partner that have access to the web, the web portal. I've got one customer here. I could add more. The same with contacts here. So, got one contact, but again, I could add more. I don't. I don't have one there. Uh, sales literature basically is an area where you can stage um, any sales literature for download, and then under partner services. Um, we have the ability to uh, open support cases as well as uh, schedule services and uh, look up knowledge base articles. First we'll take a look at support cases. Here I have an open case. Again, I can open this case. I can also add attachments, update notes, cancel the case. Here I can schedule services, start a new service, and request the service type. So Partner Consulting, and select a time. And I can schedule that service. Add it to the calendar here, and this will actually create an ICS file. Which I can save and close in my calendar. Lastly, here we have the knowledge base articles. <coughs> Here's a result. Open that. And these are the default categories within the knowledge base. And that gives you an overview of the partner portal.